Hey, Scott, thanks for having us. Uh, my name is Casey Music. I'm the CEO of Milfi. We're a small kitchen appliance and food uh, company um, with a focus on uh, pressure cooking. You know, uh, really what we are is Milfi is we're, we're trying to disrupt the kitchen space, the home cooking space, uh, bringing you technology, products, recipes. We've got a great community, a uh, few hundred influencers, and we're trying to kind of mill that all into, into making the home cooking experience easier for uh, for everybody in, uh, in today's, especially in today's world. So we pretty much have it all, right? We, we integrate from start to finish. You per purchase a Milfi appliance, you download our mobile app, you can select uh, from a couple thousand different uh, healthy recipes, tasty recipes for, to make in your, in your pressure cooker. Um, you can integrate, we integrate uh, Instacart and Amazon Fresh to the ingredients for each of those recipes. So you can just right, right from the mobile app, you can order your products and, and, and get it delivered right to your house. And then once you get the uh, get the ingredients, we walk you through step by step with how to videos on how to cook each and every recipe uh, in in our products uh, off of our mobile app. Um, a little bit about Milfi, the uh, you know where we started 2018 is when we first went live. We went live on Amazon and uh, Milfi.com. Uh, we started with just two products: our initial uh, Milfi multi pot pressure cooker and our hand blend. In 2019, uh, we moved to uh, international distribution. Uh, currently, we're obviously distributing in the US, Canada, uh, the UK and Europe, uh, Mexico, South Africa, Brazil, India, and, uh, and, and various others as we continue to expand our, our international outlook. In 2021, uh, again, we, we have a, a few different uh, sales channels and platforms. We're on Amazon, we have uh, international distributors. Again, same, same thing with in South America, South Africa, the UK, Europe, Canada, India, as well as the US. Uh, we partner with Costco, we sell through Walmart, Target, uh, we're, and, and we're talking with a, a whole host of others. Uh, we're on probably about a dozen different uh, dot-com uh, platforms right now selling our products. And then we also have about 250 influencers and affiliates, uh, whether those are food bloggers, recipe developers, just your basic all-around foodies that just want to that, that love our products and want to make a little, little money on the side. Um, our initial success was on Amazon. Again, that's where we first started. In the first two years, we sold over $11.5 million uh, in Milfi products. And again, basically, that was our, our initial pressure cooker. We now have a couple of models out and, and a few other appliances that we've got uh, in our catalog. Our full product suite for Milfi at this point in time in 2021 is we've got our six and eight core pressure cookers. We've got our Milfi Crisplet. Our Milfi Crisplet is our top selling product. It's a product that allows us to uh, cross market to our competitors like Instant Pot, Breville, KitchenAid. That crisp split will help turn any six or eight quart pressure electric pressure cooker into an air fryer. So you don't have to purchase an air fryer separately if you don't want to. It's great for the RV industry and a few others. Um, we've got our Milfi hand blend, our immersion blender as well. We've got a Milfi, uh, our Milfi glass kettle. Uh, it will boil um, like two quarts of water within like three minutes. It's super fast. I use ours in the office every day. Uh, in our kitchen, um, and I, I use it all the time. It's great for great for boiling water super quickly if you want to do soups or you know uh, any type of a hot drink or anything like that. We've got our, our steel frying pan, our nonstick frying pan, as well. And then uh, what we're launching in 2021 is we've we've developed our new Milfi Air Fry, which is a, a standalone air fryer with a see-through window, uh, one of the first of its kind uh, to market. Uh, so we have we have that, and then we are getting ready to launch our new pressure cooker meal starter kits. Our new food brand is called Gorman. It stands for Gourmet Minutes. You know, when you have a pressure cooker, you know, it doesn't necessarily make cooking easier. It makes it faster and it cooks items faster and it makes them, them juicier and, and, and a more moist product, but it doesn't always make it faster. Our pressure cooker meal starter kits helps take away a lot of the prep work, right? You come home after a busy day, you know, you got to feed the kids, got to feed the family. You rip open one of these meal starter kits you dump it in a pressure cooker, you add, add a few cups of broth, you add a protein, whether it's chicken or shrimp or whatever you want to add to the, whatever the recipe calls for. You put the lid on, you hit a button, and 20, 30 minutes later, depending on the recipe, you got a great meal ready to go. And you can go and, and, and take, off the, take off your work clothes and slip into something comfy and, uh, and then come grab a glass of wine. And, and all of a sudden, 30 minutes later, you got, you got a gourmet meal uh, ready to serve your family. So we're really excited about that product. Uh, we're hoping to have that product out in uh, Q3 here in 2021. Again, the, the Milfi customer journey is, 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 we try to make this super streamlined, super efficient. 
Again, you can download the free Milfi app. You can buy product from the from the Milfi app. You can order groceries from the Milfi app for recipe. And you look at you can look at thousands of different recipes on that as well. We've got uh, plans, grocery list, you know, one click ordering. You know, really, we kind of try to take you from A to Z uh, so that you can you know you can spend more time hanging out with the family and talking with the kids and and the wife or the husband as opposed to standing over the uh, standing over the stove and, and trying to make a meal every night. Our mobile app, the Milfi mobile app, is a best-in-class app, award-winning app. We've got over 500,000 downloads on the iOS platform. We've got over a million total between iOS and the Android platform. It's a, it's a phenomenal app. Um, we're, we're updating it constantly, uh, and we've had a ton of phenomenal reviews from it as well. It really makes using our product uh, that much that much easier. Our standout website, we, we receive over 350,000 users monthly on our website. We're continuing to grow. We continue to add recipes. Uh, consumers can uh, make their own accounts. They can save recipes. They can do all kinds of different things on our uh, on the Mil on milfy.com app. Go to our strategic partnerships again. Like I said, we've got over 250 influencer and affiliate partnerships. Some of these people listed here are phenomenal food bloggers, uh, foodies, uh, recipe developers, chefs. You know, whatever whatever they are, they just they love food. They love to cook and they love to help uh, help customers figure it out. Um, again, our grocery delivery in integration with our, our Milfi mobile app through Instant Cart and Amazon Fresh. We've had incredible engagement, engagement over our first three years uh, in business uh, since we launched our first product in 2018. As you can see here, we get a lot of uh, phenomenal uh, uh, views from a lot of our influencers. We've got a loyal and passionate community. We've got over uh, 29,000 followers on Instagram. Uh, in our in our Facebook group, we've got over 18,000 people in our Facebook group. They share recipes, they share how tos, they share pointers. They, sh you know, if somebody may have a problem trying to cook something, you know, there's somebody you can ask the question in our Facebook group, and somebody usually answers it within 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 the first first few minutes. So it's a pretty loyal and passionate community. Um, all of our products, especially our CRISPR, have had phenomenal reviews by independent uh, websites and magazines and and television shows, food bloggers, all kinds of stuff. We've got hundreds and hundreds of positive reviews, phenomenal reviews for all our products, as well as our, our Milky mobile app. And then same thing with our influencers. We've got a ton of ton of reviews from them. Uh, we work with a lot of influencers out there and you know they really they really love our, our the Milky products. On the social media side, again, like I said before, we've got a ton of followers, uh, over 330,000 Facebook, 18,000 or 29,000 on Instagram. Uh, a lot of Pinterest uh, followers and a lot of uh, YouTube followers. Well, we've got a ton of videos, hundreds of videos on our YouTube channel, the how to's, product reviews, um, all these different things to kind of uh, show you how to how to make using your, your pot even easier. Again, kind of the problem we solve is right is home cooking is on the rise, but it's not getting any faster. It's really not getting any easier. Instead of you know uh, going out buying a pre prep pre prep meal from one of these meal prep companies, you know where the food was made days in advance. Right, you can see you can make a great home cooked meal, super easy, super fast, in a short amount of time without without a lot of work, and it's it's fresh, you know, it's gourmet, um, and it really doesn't get any better than that, and it keeps you keeps people from eating out more and spending a lot of money uh, uh, eating out. As we all know, those prices continue to rise, especially over the last year, 2021. Product development wise, as we continue to uh, develop new products, uh, you know, it kind of shows you the steps that we go through. You know, idea generation, product development. We figure out different concepts, different different types. Uh, you know, uh, different things that go on each of the product, um, and then kind of go from there. Quality control with our manufacturing partners before we uh, deliver it to to the market. Our financial profile, like I said, in our first two years, just on Amazon alone and our website, we did over eleven and a half million dollars. Um, we saw great growth, thirty one percent growth in twenty twenty. Um, and then, and we also reached uh, profitability in 2020 as well. And this is kind of the, this is our projections as we go down the line. Uh, we just signed a deal with uh, Kevin Harrington and his team to help uh, continue to grow our sales channels and our wholesale channels, both on, in the U.S. and around the globe. And our, our goal is to reach 100 million annual sales by 2025. <laughs> Casey, thank you for the pitch. It was great. Uh, everyone listening here, you can go to wefunder.com slash mealthy, M-E-A-L-T-H-Y. And you can actually invest in the campaign. They've raised a little over $400,000 to date, minimum investment, $100. I'm sure there's some perks that get you on that app as well. Um, so listen, this is a cool product. I've not actually used it, but I've certainly seen it. And I'm a person who 
I use Tavala I have for a long time, which is speaking of meals that are made and sent to me. I think there's a time and a place like with two little kids and neither my wife and I tend to be the greatest chef, nor are we the most prepared shopper. Um, it serves its purpose. The food is usually pretty good. I do get like, I like the idea that I can pick kind of pick meals, but like at the same time, there's only like eight to choose from. And sometimes it seems like it's a better product for me at lunchtime and not make two or three to dollars to cook and duplicate for my family. Now that we have two little kids, it's starting to get, you know, in a year, it'll get to a point where it's actually a challenge to cook uh, such small servings. I am a believer in the at-home food market world that you're either of, and I normally I don't feel this way. It's not a, if this or that, but in this case I do, I feel like you're either a foodie and you want to be standing over the stove and maybe it's just the weekends, but like, I don't know where these people get the time. They're standing over the stove with their wife. They're not fighting. The food is all prepped and ready to go. And it's a big thing and they love it. And the family loves it. I don't know what percentage of people that is. It seems like it's a lot, at least on Instagram. And then there's the other side, the people like me who have zero chance to go to the store. And if I do go to the store, I don't even, I'm like buying based on look. I wouldn't have any idea what goes into to any meal, chicken noodle soup. I don't have any idea. So I look at a, a, an app like yours and I'm like, holy cow, I literally could just go on the app, pick a bunch of different meal recipes, immediately buy all the stuff, have it shipped here or whatever the case is, save time on that. Uh, obviously paying probably a premium, having stuff delivered to you, but right. uh, time is I think of the essence. And then using your tools to kind of guide me through the process of making it. I, I do think that that's a gigantic size of the population. And, you know, even with remote working for whoever is going to be remote and not ongoing, we always find a way to fill our time up. And if you're, if you're not a foodie, this is a pain in the ass and you solve it. And so for that, I have zero questions as to whether or not this is a viable product and that you couldn't get to hundred million in revenue. Not at all. So I want to skip on to questions that are more about like getting there quicker. When I look at signing up for Amazon Prime Food and Instacart, my question is, do you guys or can you guys get a cut of people buying the food through the app? Is there a way for you guys to monetize that? Right. So yeah, for us, yeah, we, we're basically an affiliate, right? So we get a commission on anything yep. that's ordered through our app through, through both of those, right? Is, there, is it a decent percentage of people who order through your app? Uh, it, it's okay. I mean, it, it's kind of, you know, what you get a lot of is you get a lot of people that at this point in time, the pressure cooker users are kind of foodie people. Yeah. They make okay. everything from scratch, right? Um, so you, you get some, but not, not, not a ton. And, that, and that's probably because we really haven't marketed it a ton. You know, we really yeah. haven't put it out there a lot. You don't really notice that until you, unless you download the app. Um, but it's something that we're working towards, you know, everything kind of comes in, in stages as you, sure. you kind of get, get bigger and you grow. Yeah. I, I'd love to see this company as like a, a content first platform. That's like leading the way in cool recipes and weird ways to use these tools and basically saying, Hey, follow along. We've signed these 200 influencers, listen to the way that they use our product. Here's a bunch of recipes. Here's your flash diet recipes. Here's your winter shit. Here's all, whatever, right. all this stuff. Right. And then literally like, Oh, guess what? You can also buy all of our products and you can use our products along and it makes the experience better. I, I think the, that's the like company of the future, to be honest. And I, I like where you're at on that. Right. I mean, and that's really our goal. Our goal is to be a content company, right? It, yep. it, we monetize through product. Sure. But our goal is to be a content company. Like I said, we've got upwards of 2000 recipes on our website and our mobile app. We're continuing to develop more uh, every day. Um, you know, we continue to build videos and, and make how to's and we want to start developing other stuff. But our, our goal really is to become a, a content company with our products being kind of the revenue model, right? Yep. Um, so how do you, I, obviously I do recognize your brand. So it clearly is working. I'm seeing it enough. We have an air fryer that to your point about the window, I have to take the shit out and shake it. Right. And the handle's nearly broken because I'm an idiot and I shake it like crazy. Um, we have obviously the Tavala, which works for kind of a secondary convection oven. And we also, I think we did buy the Instapot and then never used it because it just, I don't know. We just, they're uh, difficult. They're, they're yeah, not, I, yeah, it just, yeah, when you when you buy them, even ours, I mean, we've got we've got some of our models, we've got twenty buttons on. Them. Yeah, so they're not easy. I mean, you know, it, when you buy one of ours, right, you get 
a recipe book. There's about 40 recipes in the thing. So in each of our products, we also offer a recipe book, right? To kind of help get you started. But we also have an easy to start, kind of get you started guide that when you open, it's like, oh, okay, cool. Here's kind of the, here's the dummy, you know, the, the, the Instant Pot or the, the pressure cooking for dummies, you know, to try to figure it out. But yeah, that's really the thing is, you know, they're not, they're not the easiest thing in the world to use. And, and, you know, so that's really where we've, we've started developing our food products, like our, our, our meal starter kits and we're launching soup kits and we're launching some other stuff that when you buy those kits, right, you're only pushing like two buttons. It, it may, maybe, maybe three if you have to, but yeah. on each of those kits, right on the back of those, it, it, we take out all the prep work for you, right? You're not prepping vegetables. You're not measuring spices. You're not, you're not, you know, you're not trying to figure out what pastas or rices or noodles or, or beans or whatever else you need. We take out all that out of the equation. It literally takes you two minutes, unless you're extremely, just extremely slow. Yeah. It takes you two minutes to dump all the ingredients into the pot, put the lid on it, push two or three buttons and walk away and you're yeah. done. So our, is, our goal is to make it easier. The pressure cooking just makes it faster. I think so. Like I'm, I'm assuming that the, your, your moat, your defense against other brands essentially is your product innovation, continuing to come up with new products you're going to throw into the market. I like, if you get it right, I like the content as an additional layer of moat. Like there are going to be those that go on Kickstarter type platforms and Amazon and they pop out new pans and plates and things. Right. And you're already seeing it with, uh, I'm blanking on the brand, but Nick Kakonis and Alinea Group had, backed um is it all supply i can't remember the name of the uh of the pots and knives and silverware that they just kind of backed but like it's because of who they are it's the content play it's who's talking about it so i really like that is would you say that is that a fair assessment like that for you guys product innovation ultimately is kind of your defensibility backed up by content right absolutely we're even we're we are in the process of developing a, a whole new uh line of products that are all smart products Yep. Right. You can operate them from an app. You can, I mean, just like our mobile app, but you can also operate the, the equipment from the app. Now, obviously you got to do some things, you know, but maybe, you know, in a fresh curve, you can put something in early and then you can start it from, you know, from the office or on your way home. You can, before you take off, you can, you know, push a few buttons on the app and, and start it. And then by the time you get home, it's ready. Yeah. Right? It's, it's a nice little ecosystem around the kitchen, right. basically that you can, I could see literally dozens, even food freshness things. Like I could see so many uh, plays here where you've got the ability to know, do we have fresh ingredients? We have this, we need this. Oh, we're short two things. Let's go on the app and make sure that Instacart drops off the two things we're missing. Come home, right. throw it in the Instant cooker, not Insta, the meal fee, and turn it on. And it's okay, uh, it's okay believe. You know, and rock and roll. The hard part in our industry is that every, it's like Kleenex, right? Yeah, I was just going to say, it's very it, much it, Kleenex. Instant Pot is everybody calls it Instant Pot. Even even our even in our Facebook group, hey, check out my Instant Pot. I'm like that's not an Instant Pot, but but that know, that okay. is, that kind of goes to the the primary part because this this is the thing that is exciting to me about this is like, it is very Kleenex. These industries by and large are going to have people who are kind of you know need slash want slash algorithm found me on Instagram and I ended up on Amazon and I bought this thing. I didn't even know there was a difference between meal fee and the other one and the other one. They don't right. even know. Right. It allows you, if you do well with content, it really does allow you to, to bring your CPC down and your acquisition costs down because you're, you're bringing them to your website and to your ecosystem to get an email before they've even necessarily bought the product or afterward and sort of upsell the whole right. way in. I, I really like that as your play for sure. Well, the majority, 95% of our content or of our uh, website users and v visits come through our recipes. Yep, of course. I mean, they, they come through and then we, and then we try to convert them from there. Right. Yep. Like it, it's crazy because our number one recipe and our number one uh, page visit is air fryer spring rolls. Yeah. I don't like, like it's a tasty. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 we get at least probably 5,000 views a day for air fryer spring rolls. It's insane. Oh, I wish I had that on my website. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, it's maybe, just, maybe I'm going like, to write a post. Like, on. Okay. How do we, can we, can we create our own egg roll? And then, and then when they get there, just sell it to them and they, they put it in the, the, you know, or the press cooker when they get home and air fry it. I'm, I'm going to write a blog post about, about egg rolls. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, uh, Casey, crazy. thank you so much for taking the time. Give us a pitch. Once again, people, you can go to wefunder.com slash meal fee and actually invest in this company and, uh, and, and take advantage of some of the perks and stuff. And obviously would behoove you to download the app and check out the recipes because I, I have a feeling we're missing out. Uh, on that on that front. Casey, thanks so much for taking the time. Scott, thanks for having me.